with Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the rolled hem foot. The rolled hem foot is awesome for doing yards and yards of fabric, or let's say you need to hem a circle skirt and you need that really perfect narrow rolled hem, the rolled hem foot is your friend. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out every single week. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. For demoing how to use the rolled hem foot, I'm going to be using this piece of muslin and some bright red thread so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So let's head over to the sewing machine and sew a rolled hem with the rolled hem foot. So what we want to do is get the fabric in the scroll of this foot here. So the way we're going to start this is roll our fabric over quarter, quarter. And now what we're going to do is stitch a few stitches. And then we're going to take the fold, lift it up, and we're going to get it in the little roll there. And then what we can do is start sewing and then it's gonna help us roll the fabric as we go and we no longer need to keep turning it, we just need to sew and guide it. This foot saves you so much time because you do not need to pin your rolled hem, so awesome. So let's clip on our foot and create a rolled hem. When you snap on the foot, make sure that the scroll is facing you. So we want the scroll to be in front of us so that way we can feed the fabric into it. So to start the rolled hem, I'm gonna fold over my fabric as if I am creating a rolled hem. I'm gonna put it under the foot and I'm going to stitch down a few stitches. I'm gonna leave my needle in the fabric and now I'm gonna lift up my foot here and I'm going to put this fold of fabric around that little scroll right there. And now I can put back down my foot. And now you can see I have it started, so that way it's going to be rolling around the foot. And now all we need to do is start sewing. Now when you're creating the rolled hem, you wanna make sure you don't have too much fabric over here, otherwise it gets all wonky and bunchy. And if you don't have enough fabric, you're just gonna end up with a raw edge on the inside. So you want there to be a nice clean finished edge with a stitch next to the edge. So you want an edge stitch right on the edge of that fold. So you'll notice that I'm not rolling it, I'm just feeding it into the machine. And over here, you can see what it's creating. It's creating a, oh, so right here we got too much fabric in it. So you can see how it looks kind of bunched up. So that's what happens if you get too much fabric. So just back off and make sure you don't have too much fabric in it when that happens. So we're just gonna continue stitching and you need to guide your fabric in and make sure you have enough going in. So let's see here. So if we don't have enough fabric going in, you'll notice how you get the frayed edge right here. So you really need to make sure that you're guiding your fabric and keeping it consistent in the rolled hem foot. So I'm going to readjust it and bring over the fold a little bit more. I'm gonna back stitch at the end and cut. So let's talk about the results and make sure you get a perfect rolled hem every time. You might be wondering, how do I know if my rolled hem looks correct? Well, you should have a nice flat rolled piece of fabric with a stitch about a 16th of an inch away from the edge. So this right here looks like a great rolled hem and this is what you're shooting for. So what you're not shooting for is not feeding enough fabric in, which will create this little raw edge here so you don't have a clean fold here. So if this is happening to you, you need to feed a little bit more fabric into the roll. And if you're getting a bunch of bunches in your fabric and it's like gapping like this and twisting, that means there's too much fabric in your roll. So you're really shooting for your results to look just like this with a nice little edge stitch on the very edge. This foot is so easy to use and it makes your hems so beautiful and consistent in size, way better than just rolling it by your hand. 
but this foot takes a little bit of practice and it really depends on what kind of fabric you're using for your guide on how much it's folding it over. Let's say you're using a chiffon, you might need a little bit more or like a different guide that you're looking at. And if you're using a thicker fabric, you might need a little less because of the fabric when it's rolling. So always practice on a scrap piece of fabric before you start your project. So that way you can get a perfect rolled hem every single time. And I promise you, you are going to love this foot when you master it. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you had fun learning how to use this rolled hem foot and what to look for when you're using it, how to line it up, and how to get perfect rolled hems every single time. If you have any questions on how to use this foot, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think of this rolled hem foot and do you use one at home right now on your projects? And if so, what kind of projects do you use it on? Also, don't forget to tag your projects at Sewing Anastasia on Instagram so that way I can repost them and share them with everyone else. I love to keep everyone happy and inspired and creative. So make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and all those fabulous social media websites so we can stay connected and creative everywhere. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.